Say good morning. It's 3.20. Good morning. Cereal for the old man today. And his coffee. So good morning again. Um, my last day of work. And technically, I don't even know if I'm going in yet. Um, it is like 10 after 12, and Mike hasn't texted me to um, tell me if I'm supposed to come in yet or not. I know last Tuesday they didn't have me come in until after lunchtime, because um, there really wasn't anything to pick up or deliver until then. So. I've had no breakfast and it's too early for lunch so we're having brunch so right now I am just mixing up some tomato rice soup plain old canned soup I don't eat a lot of canned soup I usually make my own soups but tomato soup is just one of those things I haven't mastered and I love tomato rice so that's what I'm having hey there so I just got the call Two o'clock in the afternoon. Really? They're gonna call me in for like an hour or two. But what the funny part is, is okay, I've been doing these deliveries and pickups for like a week, and the guy who's on vacation works like 50 hours a week. He's, I don't wanna sound, this is gonna sound really terrible. Okay, the guy's in his 80s doing this job, and he moves as slow as molasses in the cold. Like, what I've been doing in three to four hours a day takes him ten to do. Because, literally, the, the way that he walks and the way that he drives is just ridiculous. And, again, you don't want to fault somebody for still wanting to work at that age. But, you got to see what this company truck looks like. Like, it's beat up and dented up, he backs into things, he, he's becoming a liability. Um, and I have proof that the guy could save half the amount of payroll by hiring somebody my age or even younger to do this work. I mean, I don't know that I would do it if he asked me to come on regularly, just because I'm spoiled with being home now and my husband likes me being home, although he likes seeing me when I come into his work too. but. So anyway, yep, that's where I'm headed, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm finally going, getting called in to do a couple runs for an hour or two, and then I'll be back home. So we're making um, flounder tonight that I'm putting some crab meat on top of. Again, stuff I've had in my freezer, just trying to use up. So I will get back to you at dinner making time. Trying to drive home as fast as I can. We have a nasty storm coming. And it's just starting to rain. I made it home and here's the nasty looking sky. I think we're going to get a storm pumpkin. Yes, it is. No thunder, no lightning, just heavy rain and a little wind. I got all excited for nothing. I love a good thunderstorm. But maybe that makes me a little odd, too. I just think a nice good thunderstorm, it's almost like it's cleansing. Like it's cleansing the earth of yuckiness. And you start all over when it's over. So I stuck one of my plants out on the deck there to get some water, some good fresh rain water. So yeah, that's about it. So I'm just cooking. So far, I just have some potatoes on the stove that I'm going to bring to a boil, and we're just going to have buttered parsley potatoes um, with our flounder and crab meat tonight, and I need to come up with a vegetable. Oh, I'm so glad this is my last day at work and I can get back on my meal planning and groceries. Ugh. Okay, I'm starting my crab meat and I'm going to put on top of my flounder. 
what I have in a bowl is, I think I, I know I've shared this recipe before. This is just the base for my regular crab cake recipe, which is some saltine crackers, um, some mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard, an egg, some salt, some Old Bay seafood seasoning, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So I'm just going to mix that all up. And then dumping in a pound of lump crab meat. You just want to break that up just a little bit. You don't want to play with your crab meat too much or you'll break up those nice big chunks because like you don't want to break that up. That's just like a beautiful piece of meat right there. So just gently fold everything together. And as soon as I opened that crab meat, out come the little monster from the living room into the kitchen. This dog is just a little freak. He loves fish and crab. I think he thinks he's a cat. Well, what's up with him? All right. So that looks pretty good. Again, just giving a little bit of a I'm going to call it a batter, or whatever you call them. Oh, well, there's a piece for you, Nugget, since I threw some on the floor. The mixture that I mixed up, just something to make the crab meat adhere together. Okay, so now let's go over here to my fish. Boy. Again, I'm still learning to play with the tripod. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on each piece of flounder and then the rest of it I'm just going to form into crab cakes and do it right on the same pan. Since I only had two little pieces of fish in the freezer it needed something additional. Oh I did have a little tiny bit of melted butter in that mixture too. So there we go. Now the rest of this. I'm going to form into crab cakes and put them right here on this pan. So I'll show you what that looks like when it's... Okay, some crab topped flounder and four crab cakes headed into the oven. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of Old Bay seafood seasoning right on the top because you can never have too much Old Bay. I don't, again, I don't know if you can get this everywhere. Um, this is a product of Maryland. This is what it looks like but it is fabulous seafood seasoning. I use it on a lot more than seafood too. It's great on fried chicken. Oh, and french fries. Oh yeah. Alright, into the oven. Okay, for my potatoes, I just drained them once they were soft, added some parsley, salt, pepper, and butter. And then here are the crab cakes and flounder. I have some corn in the microwave. That's going to be seasoned with salt and lime, and we're ready to eat. And here's dinner. Crab topped flounder with another crab cake, parsley potatoes, lime seasoned corn, and some leftover avocado and tomato. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Out with the little pumpkin. Hello again. It's Wednesday. Yep, so I'm officially done helping out at my husband's work. Um, although he did come home last night and tell me that the boss said that he might start calling me in if I'm interested to do some more deliveries. Apparently the, the elderly gentleman that they're using is just, he's like wasting too much time and he interrupts people while they're trying to work when he's delivering these things. and. So, who knows what will happen, but I don't think it's something I want to do five days a week. Um, yes, the money would be nice, but as I said before, money isn't everything, and I enjoy being home here to run the house. So anyway, it's 11.07 on Wednesday. You hear the whir of my washing machine. That thing is so noisy for being brand new. Um, 
anyway, just grabbing, I haven't eaten anything yet, so eating some yogurt and granola, like my favorite thing in the world. Just had the pup out, and I am leaving here as soon as I eat this to go to Hershey Medical Center. I have to get some blood work done this morning, just some follow-up from um, the surgery, and just make sure everything still looks good, considering they took the rest of my parts out, and I had those... Um, tumors that were malignant. They just want to double check things, which I'm all for. Just pain in the butt to drive 30 miles to sit in a chair and have your blood drawn, which takes one minute, and drive 30 miles back home. But, as I said before, I never waste a trip to Harrisburg or Lancaster because that's where the closest Costco's are. So I think I'm going to run to Costco while I'm up there. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Someone likes to lick the end of my yogurt cup. <laughs> yeah, you got yogurt news. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, back from Costco. So I got one, two, three, four pounds of organic ground beef, a whole pork loin. Again, if you're new to my channel, what I do is I take a third of this and use it for a pork roast, and then I slice the rest up for pork chops some grapes, some strawberries, some cherries, big box of nectarines, some pretzel crisps, some Mediterranean vegetable chips, some chicken breast tenderloins, some feta cheese, mayonnaise, some bark thins, my favorite little snack from Costco, a bag of avocados, some blueberries, a salad spinner finally, three pounds of walnuts, and a watermelon. So that's it for my Costco haul for this week. I will go over my meal plan probably in tomorrow's video. Okay, dinner tonight is super easy. Leftover pasta that I made on Sunday, so mine and Mike's, and then some salads for us, mine and Mike's. And I did make a fruit salad for dessert that I'll show you later. Okay, here's the fruit salad I put together for dessert. It's watermelon, strawberries, grapes, and a nectarine. Okay, so it's quarter of nine on Wednesday. I'm just like multitasking, I guess you would call it. Um, folding laundry, emptying the dishwasher, washing fruit, um, I need to start another load of laundry probably, but I'll tell you what, I am enjoying the long summer nights. Quarter nine, and it's still daylight. Love it. Okay, tomorrow's another day. Talk to you later. Bye.